Everyone's talking AI, but how can you implement it effectively at your organization? InfoSec's Keychon Evans answers five of your AI governance questions right now. The number one request I get for consulting is to come in and do an AI strategy consult. And a lot of it is like, we know your normal time is six weeks, eight weeks, or we need like a three day version of it, right? Like that's probably the number one request that I get. And realistically, like you just can't do it in three days. So I think that's part of the problem is the pressure on leaders in the security space right now is just to get AI in. And no, we don't want to hear, we don't have a strategy and all that. We'll come up with a strategy. Some organizations are using AI in ways that are illegal or not allowed in their specific line of business. And they didn't even realize they were doing something that's not allowed. Some things that come to mind are like content creation. There are some gray areas there of what you should and shouldn't do. There's people using AI to replace security solutions. And there's people even using AI to replace people, which that's an inevitable thing that's going to happen. But if you don't have a strategy in place to do that, and you don't do it in the right way, you could be violating all kinds of HR laws and so many other things. To me, that is the biggest stumbling block is not having the right people in the conversation when they start to try to build those policies. So I think the new risk is mostly introduced by the fact that we trust AI a lot more than we have ever trusted anything. And we're more amped to put information in there than we have anything that we ever have in the past. Right. So I think our relationship with AI in general opens up additional risk that we haven't really had to address before. And a lot of that's just because of the overdependence and just really how fascinated we are with how much it can do for us. What I would say is I think that every person on the team needs to master AI as it relates to their job role. And if it's a very big team, there should be a person dedicated to being the point person for AI, right? Like how we use it, how we improve our workflows, how we secure it, the things we have to consider when we're implementing it into our workflows, if it's a big enough team. But at a very minimal, I think that every team member should be looking at how to implement and use AI to be more effective at doing their jobs. What I've seen is it is opening up an entire new career area for people that have a strong security management background, it's definitely going to grow completely separate from just the cybersecurity part of it. But I think the people that have that cybersecurity leadership experience are going to be some of the best candidates for those new types of roles that are going to open up.